Thursday, Thursday, uh, May the 5th, 2022. I'm going to do a shave today. Uh, I made some changes uh, here to my setup. Number one, I got this like selfie stick tripod thing uh, that I got it for uh, on sale. And I figured I'd try it here. It seems like it gets the camera a little closer to the mirror than the suction uh, mount does and uh, um, uh, second time around on uh, this shirt I figured I can use a shave shirt for two shaves okay I'm thinking so anyhow and and now my shave shirt uh, has the old logo on it but the new addition here is the new shaving cadre logo and my avatar and well that's who I am <laughs> so I figured I'd uh, get that up uh soap i'm using today i'm using all sterling stuff today uh satsuma soap and stuff i lathered that up i had a time I had some on my face to kind of soften things up a little bit kind of like a pre-shave uh those of you have been caught in my last video, uh, my mention, I think, uh, I think it was a shave video I was doing. I had a mention of my air conditioner. Uh, so I charged it up the other day. It took about a pound and a half of R22. And then while I was, while I was looking at this stuff, uh, it struck me as being a little odd. Almost, uh, it pissed me off a little bit. Uh, that uh, uh, the guy would not repair the leak and I could understand maybe not wanting to charge it, maybe didn't have gas or whatever. Um, but to say, well, uh, an R22, R22 system is old, we're not working on them, it's obsolete, you need to replace it. And the replacement systems that they're selling now are R410, okay, which is due for a phase out in 2023. So it's like he's going to sell me, you know, you, wait a minute, guys, you want you want to sell me uh, an air conditioning system that, uh, you know, is good for this year only. And then and then, you know, the gas is going to be obsolete. And then what are you going to do in a couple of years? That, then you can say, well, you know, so um, it's old. It's uh, 35 plus years old. So uh, I'm. Hoping I can get through air conditioning through this season and when I replace the system, I'll go with the heat pump uh, in one of the, the new refrigerators. I think it's R454 is the one most of the makers have chosen, but they won't be available, the units, until uh, January 2023. And uh, uh, then I'll go with the heat pump. I'll back it up with... Uh, uh, with the oil and I, it should produce some savings. So the razor I'm going to use today is the uh, Gustavo Lelun, uh by uh, Razor Saber France. I'm using this because I got another one of these, not another one of these inbound, but another uh, Ertansure Razor Saber razor inbound in the same, uh, pretty much the same format. Uh, I'll shave with it. Uh, it doesn't have the double stabilizer on that one, but I think it is made from the same blank. And the reason I got it is they're really, you know, for the performance of these things and how thin they are ground, uh, I consider them a bargain. Okay. And I am mostly a uh, uh, modern manufacturer, straight razor guy, uh, but it'll look like this. And, uh, so I'm happy with this one. I'm also happy with the one that's made from the, the ancient forging. Uh, my concern is that uh, the gentleman who makes these moved his manufacturing. He's he was an expat from Turkey who was living in France, 
and that's where his business was. Most likely, at one time, he worked for uh, Pierre Zassard, where he acquired some skills there. I don't know if he worked with any of the German razor manufacturers, but he would buy blanks from uh, the German forge or one of the French forges and uh, um, grind razors for him. He still does. My concern was was it <laughs> uh, there just might not be any more of these this particular blank uh, available because um, and I'll, I you know I just happen to like the shape and the thumb notch and all of this so I figured I'd get another one. So and then also, also inbound on that on that uh, shipment is something I've wanted for a long time. Uh, and if I finally like decide I'm going to go ahead and get it. Uh, uh, the guy where I buy a lot of stuff from the Spear Shave, he's been getting some uh, some stones, not the big ones, a little bit smaller ones from. Uh, uh, Dan's whetstone and uh, he has a soft arc he also has a translucent and a black arc and I don't know it's like two by six by three quarters or something like that uh, I wanted this soft arc because I want to shape that uh, into on the short dimension on my shaping plate uh, You'll have to look at my some of my honing videos if you don't don't understand what I'm talking about. But since I'm honing convex, there's there's a short, real curvy dimension. So uh, it'll certainly be an interesting thing uh, grinding that one because while I did kind of reshape the arcs that I have, uh, one is a soft arc and one's a hard two-sided uh, three by eight. They were already shaped in a convex, and I reshaped them into the uh, the exact ellipse that that plate I bought is in. This one I'm going to be going from scratch. <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see what kind of career that one's going to be. Probably make a video of that. So I'll get some get some elbow grease going there on that. It's just a delightful tool to use. I really enjoy this. I've had me on overtime this week, so I haven't had uh, time like I would have liked to do my shades. But that'll be just for this week until I, next week I have a doctor's, I'm taking off on Monday because I have a doctor's appointment. I want to get <clears throat> while I'm there. I'll see if you can 
give me that next next to nine uh covid booster i'm gonna get out of, you know it's like in vegas if i didn't you know if i didn't get covid with flying and being in vegas around all the people you know it's like you know i don't know i just uh I've gone this far, I've been into it, and it hasn't, I haven't noticed any negative effects from it, so maybe some of you have, but I haven't. <laughs> so I'll be getting, uh, I'll probably be getting uh, that second booster, or third booster, second booster, uh, third booster, <laughs> so... Or is it the second boost? Second booster. My second one, let me see. One, two, it'll be my third booster. I think the third one's available. And I generally don't work overtime. On weeks that I uh, take a day off. Now, if they'd say, well, you know, you can work four tens, because when I work overtime, I do four tens and an eight. If they told me you can use your four tens, you don't have to use your PTO. Uh, I would probably do that. And that way they could get 40 hours of work out of me instead of just 32. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to uh, take a day PTO and then work four 10-hour days and have no, no overtime. So if they ever decide to do away with that antiquated uh, bust on the bunky policy that uh, some some stuffed shirt put in place. I think they should just be a little smarter. <laughs> so let's see, what else is new? Uh, that's a really, really nice shade. That's, that's a nice razor. If, if you're looking to buy a straight, uh, there's ones similar to this. They have a little bit different uh, etching. Uh, there's a couple of them left. Superior shave. Vinny, Vidi, Vinci, or whatever it is. I came, I saw, I conquered, or something like that. I think they're less than two and a quarter, which for the performance of one of these, it's really good. Uh, However, uh, I've never really looked at the geometry on these, but they're known to, uh, like a lot of French razors, have some defects, and uh, they are served well uh, if they are honed uh, with convex hones. The guy that grinds these, he gets them thin. He really does get them thin. And if you like a, a thin, noisy razor, uh, that's a good one to have for not a lot of money. Okay, pretty delightful.
That'll give a splash of the Sterling Orange Chill Switch Hazel. And then to stay with the Super Orange Satsuma Glacial. I'm not gonna put too much of this. This Satsuma Glacial, or Satsuma, even in the regular, not the Glacial, um, is one of the longest, in my findings, one of the longest lasting. Sterling Soaps does very, very well with citrus. This is one that really has, has a long lasting time, much more than uh, a lot of the other stuff that I've used. So, uh, I like that. If you like orangey, uh, I forget what kind of orange it is, but if you like orangey type stuff, uh, this is a good thing to look at. And, and I am going to uh, use the talc cannon because I like to. First off, check. Getting better at that. It's like the smooth and the dry finish that I get uh, before I head off uh, to bed. So uh, <coughs> that's Bill. That's Bill. That's Bill. <laughs> that's Max Headroom. Uh, he was my avatar from uh, back when I was known as uh, Edison Carter and uh, got booted from a form uh, because people didn't like the way I honed. <laughs> Try the shaving cadre out. We don't have people like that. Okay. We have people that enjoy our hobby. Uh, and that's what it is. It's a hobby. We, we do this because we have fun and we don't take it too seriously. So uh, check out the shaving cadre. It's a good place. Great bunch of guys. Uh, end of the shave. I hope you heading into sliding into the weekend uh i hope you all have a good one and uh you'll probably catch me on another video uh, working that soft dark trying to beat that into shape so take care thanks bye